Amy from eSpares and in this video I'll be showing you what to check for if you're having power issues with your Dyson Big Ball Cylinder Vacuum. Power issues in your vacuum cleaner could cause it to turn on and off intermittently during use or prevent it from turning on at all. So I'm going to go through a bunch of checks that you can do to identify and fix any issues, so let's get started. Remember safety first, always switch off your appliance and disconnect it from the mains before attempting any kind of repair. You may need to switch your vacuum cleaner back on and plug it into the mains to test it between each of these steps, but always make sure you unplug it again and turn it off when carrying out the next fix. First of all, you're going to want to check that the problem doesn't lie with your plug sockets or mains electricity. To test this, you can plug in another electrical appliance such as a fan into the plug socket that you'd usually plug your vacuum cleaner into. So if the appliance still doesn't work, then you know that the problem lies with your mains electricity or the plug socket. So to fix this, you can either check your fuse box or call an electrician. If your electricity is working fine, then you'll need to carry out some checks to see what the issue is with your vacuum. If your Dyson isn't turning on or it's turning off immediately after you start it up, then the issue is likely to be down to a faulty power cord. Power cord breakages are not uncommon and the break usually occurs where the cord enters the vacuum. To fix this, you'll need to replace a power cord entirely and you could get hold of a new one on our online shop and we'll include a link to this in the description down below. If you're unsure about how to carry out this replacement, then you can check out our video up here which may help you with the fix. If your power cord is damaged, it's important to keep your appliance unplugged and switched off until you've replaced it. This is because the power cord will be unstable when handling electricity, so it could be dangerous for both you and your appliance. If you're after some additional safety tips for your vacuum cleaner, you can check out our video that we'll link at the end of this video. Next, we're going to take a look at what to check if your vacuum cleaner is turning on and off intermittently. Most Dysons have a built-in safety system that causes the appliance to stop working if it overheats. If your vacuum cleaner is turning off at irregular intervals, it's likely to be overheating due to a dirty filter or a blockage somewhere causing the appliance to overwork. To check for these issues, remove the hose and test the vacuum suction without it. If the suction's weak and the vacuum still isn't picking up properly, the problem could be a dirty or a damaged filter. If your vacuum suction is fine, however, then the problem could be due to a blockage in your vacuum's hose, the wand, or the cleaner head. But we'll come to those later. First, we'll take a look at cleaning the filter. First of all, you're going to want to take the filter out of the vacuum cleaner. The filter can be found at the top of the dustbin, so you're going to need to remove this unit first. You can do this by pressing the red button at the top of the handle and pulling the unit away. You can access the filter by opening up the lid where the handle is. Then proceed to carefully pull the filter out. To wash the filter, rinse it under a cold tap through the open end until the water runs clear. When washing your filter, it's important that you don't use any cleaning products or appliances such as a washing machine or dishwasher as these can damage the filter. Once you've washed the filter, squeeze and rinse it thoroughly with both hands before leaving it to dry naturally for 24 hours. Make sure it's completely dry before refitting it. Again, don't use any appliances such as a tumble dryer, oven, or a hair dryer to speed up the drying process as this could damage your filter. To refit the new filter, simply slot it back into place at the top of the dustbin, close the lid, and then reattach the unit to your vacuum cleaner. Remember, it's important to clean your filters once a month to keep your vacuum cleaner working efficiently. If your filter is not just dirty but damaged, you will need to get a replacement one. So we'll link down below in the description where you can get your hands on a new one. If the issue isn't with your filter, then you'll need to check the hose and the wand for any blockages. To do this, make sure that the hose is disconnected from the vacuum. You may have already done this earlier when we did the suction test. Then separate the wand and the hose from the handle, making sure all three parts are disconnected from each other. Look inside each part and the areas they connect to for any blockages. This includes the wand, the hose, and the handle, as well as the hole where the hose connects to the vacuum, and the holes where the dustbin and the vacuum cleaner connect to each other. If there are any blockages, you can just go ahead and remove them, 
and some blockages can be removed easily by hand, whereas others might be too deep to reach. If you do have a deep blockage in the wand or the hose, then you can use an item or a tool such as an unraveled coat hanger or a long screwdriver to remove the blockage. Just be sure not to damage the part when you do so. Once you've made sure there are no blockages left in any of the parts, you can go ahead and fit them back together again. Finally, the last place you want to check for any blockages is the cleaner head. If the brush bar becomes blocked, it will stop your vacuum cleaner from running properly. So to fix this, we need to remove any blockages from the brush bar. To do this, you'll first need to access the brush bar. Begin by using a coin or a flathead screwdriver to unscrew the small panel on the side of the head. Remove the brush bar and check for any blockages such as hair or string that might be wrapped around it. If you do find any blockages, you can either remove them by hand or use a small pair of scissors or a seam ripper to help you. Once you've finished checking the brush bar, you can return it by sliding it back inside the head. Then you can screw the small panel back onto the side of the head. And there you have it, all the things you should check if you're having any power issues with your Dyson Big Ball Cylinder Vacuum Cleaner. Whilst you're here, you can also check out our safety tips for vacuum cleaner video that we mentioned earlier as well. And before you go, be sure to subscribe to our channel for plenty more appliance repairs and maintenance videos. Thanks for watching.